Hey, Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I'm joined by the crusher himself, Sergey Kovalev, right here in Hollywood, California. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> you enjoying this nice Los Angeles day? Yeah, just uh, here for weekend yeah. and go back to my training camp. Which is in Big Bear, right? Yeah. How are you enjoying it up there? Right now it's uh, cold, snowing. It's like... Very different uh, from here? Uh, yeah, very different, <laughs> but remember me a little bit uh, Russia and Canada. Oh, okay. Uh, the, this time, winter time. Brings you back during the holiday, huh? Yeah, a little bit uh, <laughs> cold. It's, it's winter. Yeah. It's winter, but uh, in LA, warm winter. So, Sergey, a lot of people were surprised that you decided to go ahead and have a rematch with Jean Pascal. What made you decide to do the rematch rather than fight a new opponent? Um, they offered uh, offered to fight again, and they think they thinking that it's a uh, uh, wrong stop was a uh, in, in the in the last uh, our last first fight, and I just don't want to prove that they have a uh, wrong opinion. Right. John Pascal enlisted Freddie Roach as his new trainer. Do you think that's going to change anything in the way that he fights? Uh, I don't know. It's, we, we'll see in the ring, you know, like, <laughs> what... Uh, if uh, somebody right now comes, uh, will come to my uh, uh, training camp, you know, and, like, uh, nobody will change me. I don't know how for him. If he's a very soft guy, like maybe he will, he he will get something new, and it, it has interesting for me, you know, like what he will bring for a match, how he how he wants to get a victory over me, and uh, it's good motivation for me. Because he, he changed, uh, he, he got new coach, uh, new trainer, and something should be new from him, you know, like in the ring. It, it, it's interesting for me too, and 34, uh, I'm going to fight uh, and to, to work out, uh, get more workout, more uh, training harder, you know, like right. to, to, to be much better than last fight. Right. You're fighting on his home turf once again. Why not in your home turf? Why not in... So you're fighting in his hometown. Uh, Why not in your hometown? I don't know. You're a champion, so... Because they, uh, he's not ready to fight uh, in my hometown. Okay. And uh, I don't have a choice because I want to kick his ass. Okay, I will go again like, and show to, uh, to all uh, his Canadian fans that he's uh, just a trash talker. He's really a trash talker. He's not... You're there to silence him. No, I, I don't respect his because he's uh, don't respect his team by self, you know. We, we, everybody saw last uh, press conference, uh, Wayne, you know, everything like, and, the, and fight by self. But it's like a boxer shouldn't, uh, shouldn't to do like that, how he, he did. Well, do you find it difficult, being that you have such a high knockout percentage, do you find it difficult finding guys who want to face you? You know, uh, it's not my goal to get the next KO, a victory by KO, you know. It, it's just a happening, and uh, this result of, uh, of my trainings and my workouts in the gym. I'm very happy when... Uh, my victory happens by KO because it's a uh, very big, uh, like a present for f for fans yeah. and for me myself yeah. because like uh, my record like uh, growing up and like it's uh, my rating like uh, uh, growing up too. Yeah. But it's not my goal, you know. My goal to look to looking good in the ring and to do fair fight. Uh, clean, clear fight, and like uh, get victory 100 percent 
over my opponent. The reason I ask that is because it seems like as much talk as we get of getting the the Ward fight, or I mean, I know we're going to get that finally this year, or even the Stevenson fight. You we don't yet get those fights, and you say it's back and forth talk saying. He, Adonis is saying you're afraid of him, and it's vice versa with you. So that's the reason why I'm asking that. Uh, I don't want to speak about right now yeah. for my future fights, you know, po possible future fights, because right now I focused uh, for my next fight against uh, Pascal. And after this, I can speak like for my next fight, but not over my next fight, you know, it, because. Uh, uh, how we saw already that uh, Pascal, uh, for, for example, he said before the f uh, our last fight, what he, he said, I will, I will, I will, but he didn't. Yeah. Who is who is he? Trash talker, right? And I, I, I don't like to speak before up, you know, like when we get like, and we, we can speak about this, but what. Uh, Afraid? Maybe I, I'm afraid. Chickenson, sure, like because he's very strong. He's Superman, you know. Like it's like he's thinking like that, and I'm very happy. I'm thinking uh, what I can, uh, what I can do to do, you know, in the ring. And we we will speak after the Pascal fight about this this opponent. <laughs> Um, pa John Pascal had a controversial win against Unisky Gonzalez. Did you get the opportunity to watch that fight? And if you did, did you think that he won? How I saw, how I saw from dress dressing room that he didn't win this fight. Me because I, uh, I, I saw these uh, moment moments from the fight when he's like uh, got the punches. From uh, Unesco uh, Gonzalez, and like Gonzalez looked very, uh, very, very good uh, in last fight against Pascal, but uh, I didn't saw all fight. Sh should be he win, but uh, because uh, uh, referee up to, uh, his uh, hand and uh, judges gave to him. It's uh, true what we have, right? And this very good that I. I want to put big dad about me and Pascal forever and stop his career. Well, look, it's always great talking with you. Appreciate your time. Where can the fight fans find you on social media? Yeah, Twitter, Instagram? Uh, my Twitter, like, Crusher Kovalev, probably, <laughs> because I don't remember. It's, uh, I have uh, on my application, yeah, Crusher Kovalev, and my Instagram, Sergey Kovalev, uh, slash down, uh, official page, Facebook, Sergey Kovalev. Like, it's like, follow me. And, we'll put the links up. Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> Bye, fight fans. Bye. Thank you so much.